I cannot thank you enough for dropping by General Grammar to spend your Wednesday with me. It has truly affected me in the best ways possible. Oh, so why don't we go ahead and get this rolling? Again, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar, and welcome to Whoa Wednesday. What are we talking about tonight? Oh, we're talking about the difference between affect and effect. Do you know what the difference is? Nah, we'll find out in just a second. So, let's get it started. Woo! For tonight, we're going to start it off with a little <laughs> basket breaker. Followed up by some radioactive waste. Then, we'll ask for some employee assistance to get some extra practice. And then to ugh, mix all of that together, guess what? We're going to go ahead and do an aisle check. Followed by my least favorite parts of the evening. Checking out. That's where we say adios. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a basket breaker. Uh-oh. The question is, what positively affects your mood? What makes you go, whoa, I'm feeling good today? What gets you revved up? Go ahead and put it into the comment section. Whether you're with me right now on Facebook Live or a little later on on YouTube, make sure to participate in the comment section. How else are you going to get this down? <laughs> So come on, grammar goodies. And if your comments are beautiful, I'll go ahead and give you a shout out in an upcoming episode. So what positively affects your mood? Hmm, because tonight we're talking all about effects and affects and what? My answer is candy. Candy makes me happy. Whoa. Uh, I like to be known as the Willy Wonka of my uh, profession. <laughs> Creative, candy, delicious. <laughs> what about you? I definitely want to read. Whew, but uh, all this talking's making me a little bit thirsty. <laughs> I guess we should drink up some radioactive waste. <laughs> Three, two, one. Tonight, as I was telling you, we're going to talk all about affect and effect. Specifically, the essential question that I want to answer by the end of this evening is, what is the difference between affect and effect? Do you know? Well, let's go ahead and jump into it. Well, the funny thing is, I chose this topic because it is commonly confused. I get, Mr. Goody Grammar, what's the difference? So I thought we would whoop, sit down for a second, have a little chit chat about that. Yes, it is very difficult at first to try and distinguish between affect and effect. However, I'm going to give you a boop, quick tip that can really, really change the way that you go about identifying which one to use. So, as a quick breakdown, affect, affect is a verb, so something that you do. That means to impact or change. Affect is a verb. It means to impact or change. Whereas, effect, I, I don't know how to do ease with my hands. Effect is usually a noun, so a person, place, thing, idea. That means the result of a change. So in essence, something can affect something to have a certain effect. <laughs> I'll go into it a little bit more. But basically, even though this isn't always the case, Primarily, one can identify whether to use 
affect or effect depending on the part of speech. We know that we want to use effect if we're trying to express a noun, whereas affect is a verb. Huh? Let's go ahead and take a closer look at each of these separately. First up, we have affect. Affect. Do it with me. Affect. What? Well, as stated earlier, affect is a verb. And since it is a verb, kind of think about it in this formula. X affected Y. Something impacted or caused change to Y. Broadcast. Oh, broadcast. What? Oh, sorry. Lost signal for just a sec. Bringing it back. Again, affect is a verb. Meaning, whoop, change or impact. So, affected. Something affects another thing. Let's go ahead and look at an example. Example one. The breakup affected his mental health and overall happiness. He is now a ball of misery. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> anyway, you'll notice here that the breakup is affecting his mental health. The breakup has impacted his mental health and overall happiness. So we can see that affected is used as a verb to say that the breakup affected his mental health. So it's something that occurs. It happens. Okay. Let's go to example two. His eyesight was affected by the increase in ultraviolet rays attacking his retinas. <laughs> ah, it burns! Anyway, you'll notice in this example, his eyesight is affected by the increase in ultraviolet rays. <laughs> I could also flip it into active voice and say, oh, the increase in ultraviolet rays affected his eyesight. Perfect. So either way, but as long as you can tell that ooh, something is affecting another thing. Pretty cool, right? So use affect as a verb. But <laughs> I wouldn't let you go away from that too easily. What? Why? Well, what I want you to do is do a little practice time. Here you go. Please use affect as a verb in an original sentence. Use affect as a verb in an original sentence about whatever. Just make sure to use it properly. Think X affected Y. Hmm. And when you're done with that, go ahead and bleep, post it into the comment section. Whoop. So, go ahead and jump into that practice, and while you do that, I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough practice time. Hopefully you put me on pause, either because you needed to practice or because my voice is slowly, slowly dwindling your sanity. <laughs> Now, moving on to the second main concept of tonight, effect, effect, say it with me, effect, effect, and this is usually where people mess up the most. A lot of people forget about effect, so they use effect all the time, especially as a verb, when that isn't always the case. Let's take a look. So, as stated, effect is a noun that is a result of whatever is affected, all right? So, X had Z effect on Y. So, effect is a result. 
So x had z result on y. We could also think of it as an impact. So x had z impact on y. You can see the difference between affect and effect is very much based off parts of speech. One is something and one is what is done. Hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look at a <laughs> couple of examples. Example 01. The effects of bullying on his mental health and overall happiness caused him to become a ball of misery. <laughs> okay, one, kids, don't bully. Don't do it. We all have enough problems. Secondly, we can see that the effects of the bullying on his mental health and overall happiness caused him to be a ball of misery. Right here, effects, the effects, the impacts of the bullying on his mental health. So effects is a thing. We could definitely say that the bullying affected his mental health, affected, but here, eh, we don't need a verb. We need a noun. Let's look at this second example. The effects of the increase of ultraviolet rays were damaging to his eyesight. Oh, no, the rays. As you can see in this example, effects is a noun. It is the impact or result caused by the increase of ultraviolet rays, which <laughs> were very damaging to his eyesight. So think of effects as a noun, again, the result of something, the result of whatever's being affected. <laughs> Woo! Well, I know we kind of flew through that, so I want to just go ahead and emphasize something. One can see that effect is the result of what is being affected. Affected, again, is an action. You affect something. And that can have a certain effect or result. Therefore, something is affected and this creates a certain effect. Try and think about it like that. Okay. Here's the thing, and I don't want to do a deep dive on this grammar goodies because I don't want to confuse you or myself right now. But huh, like uh, the English language in general, there are tons of exceptions to rules. In some cases, effect can change its part of speech to a verb, and effect can also be a noun. Uh, the rhetorical type of effect, effect, that that has uh, differs depending on how it's used. But more commonly, you're going to see affect as a verb and effect as a noun. I just wanted to sprinkle that out there in case you ever come across it in this form. But again, you'll usually see affect as a verb and effect as a noun. Woo! But, okay, that was fun, right? But I think it's time we ask for some employee assistance. Ooh, help. We need some employee assistance. So here's what you're going to do for this week's employee assistance. You will be given various sentences. These sentences will have a blank or blanks within it. What I want you to do is fill in the blanks with either effect or affect. Really pay attention to the part of speech. What fits best here? A verb or a noun? Huh. Again, fill in the blanks in each sentence with either affect or effect. And make sure to participate in the comments section. Let me know which one you're choosing. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Question one. COVID-19 and quarantine 
have negatively blank my life. Again, COVID-19 and quarantine have negatively blank my life. Hmm. Are you going to use affect or effect? Try and conjugate it to fit this. So affect or effect. Take a second. Think about it. Hmm. I'll go ahead and give you the answer. The correct answer is affected. Affected. Because it is something that is occurring. COVID-19 and quarantine have negatively affected, negatively impacted my life. Made it bad. Mm. Be safe, everyone. As you can see, a verb was needed here. So, the correct answer is affected. Whoa! Okay, let's go to question two. The loss of the championship had negative blank on the young football player. Again, the loss of the championship had negative blank on the young football player. Is this going to be affect? Or is it going to be effect? Ah, I'm getting better at it. Mm. Take a second. Effect or effect? Hmm. Huh. Oh. Okay, time to give you the answer. The correct answer is effects. Effects. A noun. The loss of the championship had negative effects on the young football player. Here, we needed a noun. We know that because negative is an adjective and we're using that to describe a noun. We're not going to use negative to describe a verb, huh? Adjectives don't describe verbs, huh? We're using this adjective to describe the noun effects because it's a thing. It's saying that the loss of the championship, oof, it had negative effects, results, impact on the young football player. Whoa! And let's move on. Question three. Although he didn't want to admit it, the breakup blank his emotions in so many ways. He is not as heartless as he originally thought. Oh. Again. Although he didn't want to admit it, the breakup blank his emotions in so many ways. He is not as heartless as he originally thought. Brought to you by the Grinch that stole Christmas 7. <laughs> starring me! Nope. I just star in my own disaster of a life. <laughs> what do you think? Affect or effect? Which one fits it best? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'll give it to you. Although he didn't want to admit it, the breakup affected his emotions in so many ways. He is not as heartless as he originally thought. Here, one can see that the breakup is doing something. It is affecting his emotions. So we do need a verb here, and we're using affect for that to take place. How you doing so far, grammar goodies? Staying up with me? I know it. Let's go on. Question four. Russell's days as a rodeo clown had tons of damaging blank on his body. He was hit by way too many bulls. Here it is again. Russell's days as a rodeo clown had tons of damaging blank on his body. He was hit by way too many bulls. <laughs> Please seek out medical attention. So, is affect 
or effect going to be the best word to fill in the blank? Think about it. Huh. Huh. <laughs> okay, I'll give it to you. Russell's days as a rodeo clown had tons of damaging effects on his body. He was hit by way too many bulls. Here we have damaging effects. Effects, results, a lot of damaging results on his body, or a lot of damaging impacts on his body. It's a noun, it's a thing. So effects is going to be the correct answer. But wait, we still have one more question to go. Question five. Rogelio did not think that the blank of his sleep deprivation would blank him so much. What? Is that two? Let me reread it. Rogelio did not think that the blank of his sleep deprivation would blank him so much. There are two blanks. Whoa! So what do we put into these blanks? Affect or effect? Hmm. Huh. Huh. Remember, whether you're with me right now on Facebook Live or a little <laughs> later on on YouTube, make sure to participate in the comment section. That way, I know that you know that I know that we know how to do this. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, here's the answer. Rogelio did not think that the effects of his sleep deprivation would affect him so much. He didn't think that the results or the impacts of his sleep deprivation would change him so much or affect him so much. The, <laughs> the sleep deprivation affected Rogelio and the effects were bad. <laughs> so again, make sure to pay close attention to the part of speech that is needed when it comes to using affect or effect. That's just a really quick way to kind of distinguish between the two. Use affect if it's, whoa, doing something, it's affecting something, or if the results, it's a noun, are an effect. Hmm. Pretty cool, right? Well, I think now that you soak that in, let's go ahead and do an I'll check. For this week's I'll check, Here's what I want you to do. Create two original sentences. One sentence should use the word affect in it. And the other sentence should use the word effect in it. Again, two original sentences. One should use affect and the other should use effect in it. And if you're feeling wah, spicy, Try and write two original sentences where you put both words into each sentence. <gasps> both words into each sentence? Whoa! But I know you can do it, Grammar Goodies. And while you're doing that, <laughs> I think it's time that we check out. All right, just a quick reminder of what's upcoming. Word of the week every Sunday. Live sessions every Wednesday. What are those called again? Oh yeah, they're called Whoa Wednesday. And you can make sure to ooh, join them on Facebook Live or watch them a little later on on YouTube. But make sure to enjoy your Whoa Wednesday. Content episodes come out regularly, sentence shout outs regularly, and if you would like a sentence shout out, just make sure that you're participating in the comment section. Huh. And also, what do you want me to teach? Let me know in the comments. That way I can create videos for you. All right, all right. 
And you can follow us on all our different platforms, especially www.mrbittygrammar.com, where you can sign up for exclusive content, including extended episodes, guided notes, worksheets, and even PowerPoints. Whoa! And some secret videos. <laughs> Never released to the public. Okay, so make sure to check that out. Also, Instagram, Facebook, and <laughs> with TikTok. Grammar goodies, you have affected me in so many positive ways. And the effects of your love keep me going. Ooh. Anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar for another Whoa Wednesday. And comma in anytime. I'll see ya. Woo!